Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last video, we began our adventure. We've arrived in Kirkwall as a refugee. Our sister is dead. And um, we've also picked up Aveline, our warrior, our, our tank, I should say. This sword is very cool. Um, right, so we are now trying to figure out a way into the city. We're going to go chat to Athenril, who is, I believe, the uh, smuggler lass. Also, I've processed the first video now, finally. And... Um, I, I kind of been talking about the sound balance and stuff like that, and it is a nightmare. <laughs> it's such a nightmare. It really is. So I'm not going to be talking much during combat, because you quite frankly can't hear me. I have to plus 12 this game to get it audible. I never have to plus anything. Are you a Senra? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. I'll do whatever it takes. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. Okay, can I can I do both quests? Because obviously we've got um, this one over here. So we'll do this one first, and we'll see if that one keeps popping up. Merchant, oh, can I steal from you? Oh, we need a rogue, man. We need a rogue. Uh. I've already told you. I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city. I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron. Your business is done. But... <laughs> Your business is done. Now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? It's in first of all, Sarah is interesting. So it was Sir in the first game. Is Sarah meant to be... The feminine version of Sir. Um, if you have a silly voice, <laughs> I think that precludes you from certain jobs. Then again, Mike Tyson sounds very silly and he's like a boxer. Did you cheat that woman? She didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? You mean people like us? Of course. My apologies. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. Athenril sent me. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Should I go tell the guards? <laughs> not just yet. I want to hear this. So, Athenril sent you to collect, did she? Too cowardly to do it herself. This has all just been a misunderstanding, hasn't it? You think so? <laughs> I do. Don't you think business partners deserve a return on their investment? Enough, enough. I'm tired of fighting over this. Here, take the key for the chest. That should be enough to pay that witch. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy Dogland junk. What did you just say about Ferelden? All set. There we go. Uh, and the other quest has indeed disappeared. So, I mean, it makes sense. You, you don't need two people to smuggle you into the city, do you? You could have given us something more challenging. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. One thing I'm curious about... See, my character there, she's a little bit sarcastic, a little bit, you know, trying to be witty, which is kind of the options I've been clicking. Right, so what I'm curious about is whether I'm building up... Like, does, does it react to how I choose to say... You know what I mean? <laughs> In that, basically, if I keep picking that middle option, the purple one, like the witty, charming sort of option, will my character, when she's talking unprompted, will she say that kind of witty, charming kind of thing, right? Or if I'd picked aggressive things, would she be much more aggressive by default? I'm kind of curious. I'm going to Google Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? 
I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. Let's not do that again. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But, most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. I googled it, and it is the case. Um, if you pick a dialogue style, it kind of stacks up over time, and then it solidifies into your personality. So that's interesting. It affects my combat dialogue, and like that line you just said there, a few of those lines just there. I think that's a cool idea. Stays tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're... No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. You need us. We fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. You're right, but, you know, calm down. My brother has a point. It's on his head, but it's still valid. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. <laughs> so, what about it, Bartrand? We're just what you need. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well... Back to waiting for someone to turn us in. You're no mage, why are you so worried? You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. Gamlin? He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartrand. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. You catch more flies with honey, but Gamlin's bullshit could work too. Well, he did get us into the city, right? What else can we do? We're losing ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the Merchant's Guild. Might want to find yourself a new line of work. <gasps> Off you go. <gasps> How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. Hey, Varric. 
Are you in the expedition? You're part of Bartran's venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. That is a lot of chest there, buddy. <laughs> Try to check. Hmm. Uh, you know who we are? What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. So, like I was saying before, one of the reasons I wanted to play Mage in this game, you know, we've already heard just a second ago that the Templars are bugging us because of me. You know, it just, it just makes your character tie into the wider story, I think, a little bit more. You must have heard of my brother as well, then. A little, yes. But it is you they speak most of, Messer. That figures. Your brother is certainly welcome to join us by all means, but I'll leave that in your hands. Oh, I'm going. Without this expedition, we won't last out the year. You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. I hope there's more to this. Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe aveline has got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now... Let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Keep a hand on your coin, Hawk. There are more cut purses in Hightown than in the rest of the city combined. I love Varric. Varric's great. Okay, so we have a lot of quests. Go to Gamblin's home in Lowtown. Find a way so we need 50 sovereigns. Talk to Varric in the pub. Uh, go talk to Aveline and deliver the amulet. Lots to do, and more importantly, it's time to level up. So, I am going to... a bit of willpower, a bit of magic. And we are gonna... yes, ooh, hello, Blood Mage. Oh, I've got three more. Wait, why have I got three more? Is it... oh, it's because I'm level four, isn't it? Can I... So, use the abilities in this tree, you must first spend a specialization... Oh, I don't... oh, right, it's just showing me them. So, I think we're gonna be specializing in Force Mage. Um... Because it kind of vies with the, the the nature thing. I mean, we can pick up two as well. So it's a spirit healer, which I'm assuming is where we get resurrect. Maybe, yeah, revival. I don't know if I want that, we'll see. Blood Mage has hemorrhage, and that is it. That is like the only damage ability it has, which is a bit of a shame. But anyways, we don't need to worry about this for three more levels. Uh, do we want petrify or do we want rock armor? I'll have six for those. Mage entombs an enemy of stone, leaving them unable to move. Okay, 100% paralyzed chance. Lasts for 12 seconds. That's not bad. Um, I guess we'll pick it up. Seems like a good way to, you know, if this is like a particularly... Oh, I've got two points. Um, all right. I'm going to pick up everything from this tree, basically. I, I mean, I'm sure we'll fill out more. Well, maybe I want to get some frost stuff. I kind of... Um, actually, what I might do... Oh, I can't reset, can I? Oh, no, I've already confirmed it. I was going to say, I'd like to pick up Corner Cold and Firestorm. Um, 
All right, let's, let's start going down here as well. I think we're going to end up needing to level up both anyway, rather inevitably. Okay. Control. Okay, so there's two. These are both different styles of fighting. There's control, where you have a higher chance of hitting, or there's might, where you have a higher damage. Damage. Though it's actually slightly more expensive, but that's fine. Okay, and let's grab... What's this? Sunder. The warrior strikes carry such weight that critical hits gain a chance to stagger the enemy. Let's grab that. And then Varric, one of our... We've got a rogue! Uh, he's a ranged rogue. He uses a crossbow. Interestingly enough, uh, dexterity has become more important than it was in the past game. I think I'm just me. I'm just gonna do that basically. Okay, marksman, scoundrel, specialist, Bianca. So Bianca is Varric's special crossbow, basically. So let's pick stuff for this. So that is a. This arrow explodes on impact, showering the area in shrapnel and flame. That sounds awesome. And pinning shot, which is really annoying, as we know <laughs> from the first game. Let's grab both of those. And then Marksman sounds good. Nothing I can get in Mark... Oh, level 7, yeah. Hmm. See, you get something for rivalry or friendship. The key is to not get nothing. <laughs> the key is to make them be a rival or a friend, but not neither, you know? Specialist? What specialist about? Precision, power, and speed. Attack speed plus 10% sounds pretty good. Precision. Uh, that sounds pretty good as well. Subterfuge. I don't think we want stealth and stuff like that for uh, Varric. It doesn't make sense to me. Scoundrel. Back to back. No. No, I think we'll pick up uh, specialist. Get precision. And I've got, I've got so many points to spend. <laughs> Why does Varric have a billion? Okay, let's go for that as well. You can choose which one is more appropriate. Sabotage. Rushes forward. Not bad. Miasmic Flask. Yeah, we'll grab that. Okay, cool. Miasmic Flask. The rogue lobs an explosive flask into a group of enemies, briefly stunning them for six seconds in an AoE effect. That's pretty sweet, actually. And they are now available more frequently. Minus five on the cooldown. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, so the cooldown is 15 seconds. Um, and duration plus two. As you can see, it affects... See, it's duration four or duration six. This does actually instantly affect it. Okay. It just makes sense to me that he would use AOE abilities, you know? And ranged abilities. That's what I'm really trying to say. Okay, hey guys. <gasps> Sandal! Um, Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. <laughs> we shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? They've made Sandal's eyes terrifying. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> A kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? <laughs> Just so. Let's see what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Okay. Well, let's check if we need any of this stuff we've got. I don't think we're going to. Oh, they've got star ratings. That's interesting. Uh, oh, interestingly enough, everyone else has a special weapon, but I don't. <laughs> so, my mind does seven cold damage, which is better than what those are. Uh. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. What's going on here? Oh, right, yeah. 
It's just, it's unequipped their special weapons. You're never going to replace Bianca, so there's not, there's not much point with that. It can be enchanted, though, interestingly enough. Uh, apostate's robe. Mm, gold threaded. Interesting. Nope. Enemies drop better equipment. That sounds great. Because we don't want the robe. Don't have any of those. Don't want to sell those. All right. Sell everything we've got, then. Already much nicer to play with. You know, just the... The, the clicking. There's uh, Aveline's weapon over there. So we're going to be... I assume we can have four people still. So this is actually a pretty good party. I'd probably need to replace both of these long term. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Let's begin to explore. The game has begun officially, properly this time. Over uh, past the preamble. Hey, little Bartrand. Oh, wait, no, you're the guy we need to sort out, aren't you? Let's have a, a little poke about. We've got this, uh, it's a big old city, right? There's a quest down here. Let's head in that direction. How was that? Robes by Jean Luc. I do like that you can just click. <laughs> you know, I don't need to. I don't need to talk to people. I can just click on this little thing here and it'll instantly give me things. It's a you bit of a shame daggers. not talking Got to the shopkeeps in some ways, but yeah, I'm going to lose my mind over it. Whoa. Looks really good. Okay. What else we got here? Lots of quests. Hubert's fine goods. Edge staff is any good. Hmm, it's an upgrade. I'm not gonna worry too much about stuff like that quite yet. Do I have boots? Yeah. You know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. She's my sister. Of course there's a resemblance. Oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Maker, I hate you, dwarf. <laughs> Worthy. Hello, Worthy. What a name. Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Well, if it isn't Worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> I only advertise the truth. You aren't still working for Athenral, are you? Your year must be up by now. Still trying to ferret out everyone's business, I see. <laughs> of course. How else do you expect a dwarf to make a living? I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. I've unlocked a crafting station from which you can order items given a recipe and resources. Another station is now available in Hawk's home. Okay. So we can get so we need Lyrium, Silverite, Oricalcum, and Dragon's Blood to make a rune. You can order runes if you discover the right combination of resources, along with a recipe, and it's gone. <laughs> it's, 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 I'm not allowed to read all of that. You've got to remember to read the text quickly, lest it leave you. Better get used to the city, folks. We're going to be spending a lot of time here. <laughs> And by that I mean the entire game essentially. Here to sell today, guardsmen. My shipment's late. Well, good luck to you then. So move that. Uh move that a little bit as well. There we go. Right, where are we actually going? Down there, apparently. But I do want to just explore everywhere. As we run along, you never know what you'll run into. This man who hates Kirkwall, for example. You know. What if we hadn't seen that man? What if we didn't know how he feels about Kirkwall? Have you seen a dog? A small, with a blue bow about her neck. I haven't, but I'll keep an eye out, buddy. The Chanter's board. Oh. Okay. So it is, it is what I thought it was going to be, but... Go check out the Chantry, maybe? I mean, the game's going to guide us to all these places. I guess I probably don't need to be doing this now. But I've got to have a look anyway. <laughs> That's the religion sound, by the way. That's the sound that religion makes. Strangely long loading times, considering how old this game is. 
feel like it should be a lot quicker. Okay, stop again here. We'll be back. Let's just go turn the bloody quest. Oh, oh. Low town. High town. Chantry. Oh. Business discussion, new home. Okay. Well while we're here okay, let's go let's go to the Viscount's keep. I'm guessing that's to talk to Avalyn. Aveline. 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 Twenty five minutes in, I haven't killed anything. Um, right, so, yes, this must be the Aveline quest. Let's go do that. You know, Junior, you're ooh, looking ooh, at ooh, this ooh, all ooh. wrong. Whatever it is you're about to say, I'm not interested. Vial of Holy Water. I'm a professional younger brother. Trust me, the center of attention's the worst place to be. When things go wrong, and they always do, that's where all the fingers point. Look at any kingdom in Thetis. You've got people who warm thrones and people Sorry. nobody sees who do the real work. And well, my sister is a queen in this scenario. Perfect. Point, missing it. Oh well. Hmm, I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? Yep. But well, there might be something here for finding chests. Um, the game did explain this, but I've forgotten. <laughs> How do I... <sighs> Is it cunning? Yes. It was, yeah, it was 40 cunning, wasn't it? In order to, um, to unlock everything in the game. So we need to get to at least 20. 20 is the next break point, so we should hit that pretty soon if possible. We'll go, oh, hello. You're off map. That's interesting. Hello, cheeky. I, can't, I get why it is what it is, but it's a bit daft that you basically have to have a rogue in your party. I mean, I guess the, the things you unlock probably aren't ever that important, but if you see me play the first game, you'll know that I can't stand not being able to open things. It upsets me so much. Let anyone into high town these days. I will break your face. The peacekeepers, the champions of the just. That was a very nice thing to say. She doesn't, just because she's a horrible person doesn't mean she deserves to have her face broken. Oh, hello, crate. Well, this is good. We're gonna, you know, we need 50 gold. We've got a lot of work to do here. Makes sense to uh, have a little Taffy. explore. Taffy, here go. Still looking for his dog. I hope we can find his dog. I'm gonna feel Avoid bad for this. You never remember what Mistress wants. So I'm a little poke down here. I don't want to see any trouble from you. I hope down it here. doesn't rain. The Red Lantern District. Fantastic, lovely stuff. Not seeing anything else. Okay, I think I we've caught dead in the ropes. Oh, go on then. Is this where Varric wanted to have a little chit chat? A little chit chat. People from the three marches are called marches. We're not actually in Ferelden, by the way. So we, we left Ferelden. I think Ferelden is the continent where Dragon Age is set. The first Dragon Age. But we've gone across the sea into the three marches. And oh. here we are in the brothel. My oh. Day is <laughs> this is not the bar. Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. I don't care how much that... I assume we'll have to come back here later on. Didn't realize it was a brothel. <laughs> I would have made sense. You know, there's no reason brothels should be stigmatized. I, I see brothels the same way I see like most drugs, essentially. That if you just legalize it and do it in a controlled way, things will be better off all told, you know? But, uh... Like, I do I, why is prostitution illegal? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Like, I'm not... I, I, I would never go to a prostitute personally. To a sex worker, I guess is a more favourable term, really. But, um... I still don't see any logical reason why it should be illegal. It's your body. You should be able to do what you want with it, in my opinion. And it's not like drugs where it can lead to bad things, blah, 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 really. It's not like a gateway act. <laughs> anyway, it's not really relevant to the video, but I do think it's odd. 
It's the oldest profession, as they say. The stars next to an item show the item's power relative to your current level. Two stars indicate basic equipment for your level. Oh, that's handy. Okay. So one star, which is what all my stuff is, <laughs> is underpowered, I guess. Right, good to know. Some enemies are vulnerable to certain types of damage. Oh, I've got to read part of that. Gather your party. Nice. Oh, I can... Oh, I can't throw in. Well, game, that's not really my fault, is it? <laughs> There's not much I can do about that. There's a lot more um, verticality in this game than there was in the first game. The Limeran Accords. There you go, folks. Eh. 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 Pause the Sneebie. I wonder if I'm getting XP for that. I'm not sure. I can't do that. I didn't think so. <laughs> However, I'm just gonna shut this door just in case. I'm just gonna save it just in case. The Enigma of Kirkwall. The Viscount is suspicious, but the bribe is sufficient to gain access. I think I'm getting XP. Okay, but we can steal something. Get out, guys, men, <laughs> move. Bottled Scar 534 Exalted. Quest updated. A rare collaboration between human and elven vintners. The result is a taste that's been called appropriately tense. Occasionally requested in the Low Town Bazaar, although elves rarely do so openly. Okay, so maybe to the bazaar, have a look at a chest. I don't think I can do that. I can't open that, but... That's not really my thing. You want me to do what? Uh, I don't think so. God damn it, Varric. I'll be back, chest. Everyone make a note of the chest, okay? <sighs> crumble, crumble. Right, How we need to get him to 20 cunning to ASAP. It's a shame. I'm hoping he's got an ability that makes cunning do damage, just like we did in Dragon Age Origins. Otherwise, it's going to feel like wasted points. You have entered a companion's home base. Okay. So this is Aveline's bit. I'll talk to you in a second, Aveline. Gotta see if I can steal anything from you first, if you don't mind. Like all these codex things. Cause you never know. Another place that wouldn't have me. Let's just go. Simple. Okay. Can we open simple? Yeah, we can. Got a longbow and a book of suggestive caricature. We're good to go. <laughs> How do you make a suggestive? Why would a caricature be suggestive? It's a weird combination of words. Oh, people will uh, masturbate to anything, eh? Aveline! Let's chit chat. Why don't you come on over, Aveline? Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it? What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. Eavesdrop anything useful? A person in your position. Seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. <laughs> One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. High women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Messer, please stop kicking the wall. <laughs> All right, Aveline. Let's get you some constitution. She's my tank. Um, right, so I mean, what I really want, obviously, is 
Guardian. Oh, you can see how, so Guardian's Aveline's, right, the bottom right one is their, like, special one, right? So you can see that Guardian has Surf and Protect. 10% transfer damage transfer from Hawk to Aveline. Or she can gain damage resistance plus 10%. Uh, but that's higher level stuff. Okay, so that's that's definitely the one we want to prioritize when possible. Sword and Shield, though, turn the blade. While many warriors choose to endure their foe's hits, some prefer to deflect the damage instead. So we can use that or Elemental Aegis, which boosts up her resistances by a ton. So that's physical defense, and that's elemental defense. What's this? Stonewall now protects the... So Stonewall is... Five seconds of more physical force and lots of damage resistance. And we can reduce the cooldown. We'll grab that one. We probably don't need the elemental stuff quite yet. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like a logical thing to say, doesn't it? Can I get in there yet? No, maybe when we're better friends. Okay, so we've got two ranged, two physical, and a tank, and technically a healer in me. I don't really want to be a healer, but at the moment, I'm a healer. So we're, we've got a good party set up at this point in time. Good luck getting in. I've been Let's get out of here. Uh, right, we've got quests over here as well. Let's go to Low Town. We can go to the Hanged Man to talk to Varric. I've got a few things going on down here as well. Thumbs up, folks. Thumbs up. The citizen of Kirkwall thinks of himself as being from the city first and the free march is second. That is very similar to two cities in this country. London and Liverpool, weirdly enough. London is essentially a country in and of itself, given the way it's governed. Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk, is that it? You are dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. <laughs> Look at Bianca. What a monster. Low Town is a massive cauldron shaped pit that was once the quarry. Okay. It's just this, it's a slummy bit. It's where the poor people live. Take back our streets. For Elden refugees, Canary soldiers. Who's next? To Vinter slavers snatching children out of their beds? This ends now. Send a message that Kirkwallers will not accept this. We must band together to drive foreign waste from our doorstep. We claim the free marches for the marchers. If you care about our future, join the friends of Kirkwall. Here's in all these pies. Jesus. Well, not the actual pies. They're clean. As far as I know. Got some stuff, actually. Boots any good? Uh, yeah, okay. Let's get those on. Anything else? Nope. We've got... Uh, so okay, so it's a slightly only that I can't see. I can put those here, and now I can see that they are the required level. Hello? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's level 4, so that's way above rank. But you can't see it here, you know what I mean? Like, I can't compare directly in that way. But it, it is handy to... To sort of see the star ratings from the get-go and know what I'm doing. Heavy shield, that's never going to be any good, is it? No. I mean, I don't think we're ever replacing our companions' weapons. Which is a bit of a shame, I accept. But it means it's one last thing for me to pointlessly check and blah, 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 blah. Got to get that. <laughs> 50 gold. We've got 20 silver so far, so... um, Yeah, a little while to go, it must be said. Oh, and junk as well. Now, I can't remember, there's a mod out there that makes your junk worth 100, apparently you really get no money in this game, basically. And there's a mod out there that makes your junk worth 100 times more. And I thought that seemed excessive, so I didn't use that. But I think I may have used the 10 times more option. But as we just saw, the junk was still worth <laughs> absolutely goddamn nothing. So either it's never worth anything, or I didn't install it correctly. It's one of those two options. Uh, I don't have a helmet. I'm not allowed a helmet. I could get. No, no, we don't. We're not buying gear. I just, I'm just curious what people sell more than anything else. Lady Elegant. My, my. If it isn't Hawk. Still up to old tricks, Elegant. Lady Elegant, if you don't mind. I'm a married woman now. Last time we met, you were still in Athenral's employ. Things have been going well since then. Oh, the other thing I want to say so. 
They've mentioned that the blight is over, right? So we're going into deep roads. They said, you know, post blight is the best time to do so. So the year that we've been here is the events of Dragon Age Origins, basically. Um, the main game. At the very least, I assume the blight has basically just ended. So the events of Dragon Age Origins took place over a year. We've been here in the city working for Athenral. And now we've got our freedom from that. And now the blight is over because over in Ferelden, the Grey Warden, our character, has defeated the blight. Could be better, could be worse. I often feel the same way. You may recall I sometimes provided potions for a Fenril. I'd be willing to extend you the same courtesy if you like. All I ask is you inform me of any interesting reagents you find. In exchange, I'll approach my contacts on your behalf. And of course you'll need the appropriate recipes, such as this one. Free, for old time's sake. Okay, so this is kind of like with the... Uh... Enchantment. Enchantment. We can make an elf root potion. This curative potion heals temporary. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so th these are special potions. Right? It cures an injury and gives me sort of health regen. Oh yeah, resource varieties discovered. Cool. So you've got your standard health potions down here, and then you've got special. special potions. Elven Vintner, would you like some alcohol that I stole from the guard? <laughs> Something of yours, sir. Oh, just worked I thought this was last. Perhaps it should be. But that does not diminish your kindness. Kindness. Cool. Got a bit of cash. Got a barrel. Get All around. coming up, Millhouse. Weaponsmith. Doesn't really matter, does it? Stop. Oh, hello. Oh, no. We're not buying things. We're not buying things. Finding things is banned. It's illegal. These... Yeah, let's go check out this imports shop. Oh, where are we at? This would be a bit of a nightmare without that minimap, I'll say that much. It's very handy having it there all the time. It's been open my elbow. It's red. Will everyone please just step back? Donation box. To aid for Reldon. Okay, well, I have no money, so <laughs> maybe one day I'll be back. My mother's in labor. The baby's come early. Can anyone help her? Hello. Am I stealing from the refugees? Is that okay? What the hell? Why is this all so fancy? My son's hurt bad. I do have some DLCs installed um, that give you things. I mean, this is better, right? Swaps from cold to physical, but for now it's better. Reforged Hosberg Trainer. That would be for you. I can't actually use it. That'll be interesting because let's say we get him to 23 strength. Maybe we will be replacing the long bar blade, if only short term, because that is a huge upgrade. Massive upgrade. And what else did I get? Oh, Canary War Boots. Uh, oh, they're only for me. Need 17 strength. We, we probably do need a little bit of strength. I don't know if I really want those. I probably don't actually. Everyone in your turn. I pr if you're seeking aid, leave your name with my girl. We serve everyone here. No one came from Ferelden without trouble. But I can't give priority to anyone who's already found work and lodging. Can I help? Is there a way I can assist these people? If you've coin to spare, we won't turn it down. Donations go in the box up front. Anything else? I just want to see your wares. Look around. We don't often get customers with actual coin to spend. Okay, am I gonna sell... I might as well sell this. I'm gonna sell these. Am I ever gonna get 17 strength? Not for a long time. And then it gives me physical damage and magic. Ah, I suppose we'll keep them. How am I going to keep them? <laughs> I don't think so. Screw it. Sell the junk. Up to one gold. We're loaded. I'll be back. I will support the refugees at some point. Remember to upgrade your gear. Hmm. Does that mean be get better gear? Or can we... Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> That's uh, a blacksmith hammer, by the way. In case you were curious. 
Boing. That's what, that's what a hammer sounds like. What's this X? The bizarre. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a big old area, this. The hind man. Okay, isn't this where... Is this where... Wait, right, can I check? Yes, okay, let's go talk to Varric in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> that kind of jump scared me a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> the hero of Ferelden sped the world from the ravages of another world. That's an interesting idea. My character is off there being a hero right now, you know, whereas we've been living in the slums and working our way up. That's an interesting idea. Yes. Why? What makes a hero a hero, eh? I bet I could kill an archdemon. I bet you couldn't. I bet you a dozen ales. What? Well, now I'm going to show you. I suspect you'd be very dead. I mean that in the loveliest way I can possibly say it. But I suspect you would die. So, welcome to the Hanged Man. Any news? What's the word on the street? The craziest thing. Apparently, the pigeon population has taken a nosedive in Ferelden. Weird, huh? What kind of sick individual preys on those innocent things? I have a suspicion. I mean, I don't remember if Shale's in this game, but Shale hates pigeons. <laughs> I'll say that much. Any other news? People say Meredith's the real power in Kirkwall, not the Viscount. Even Dumar answers to her. Any other news? I hear rumors of a healer in Darktown who's looking after the sick for free. Imagine that. Any other news? You saw the shipwrecked Kunari. There was a man in here who swears he saw the whole thing happen. Apparently, the Dreadnought was fighting another ship before they both crashed on the reef. Any other news? There's an expedition heading to the Deep Roads, and every sword and his dog wants in on it. This is exactly like talking to uh, Bodown. Any other news? You ever met the Viscount Dumar? The man doesn't use his head for anything but storage for fancy hats. Any other news? Apparently, the Kunari are just waiting for a ship to take them back to Parvolan. Or pick on soon. I was Thanks. hoping I should go. I could kind of like find some information out or something like that, something relevant out, but um, does not appear to be the case. Varric, I'm going to talk so, to you in a minute, buddy. What do you do, Avali? You know I'm a guard. Why are you asking? I mean, in your off-duty hours, for fun. You've heard? Oh, I hope. These are my off-duty hours. Go on, then. And the trend of you scaring the piss out of me continues. <laughs> so, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. I wonder if this is... There was a Warden who came... Do you remember the guy who came on... No, wait, no. This is post... Dragon Age Origins now, so it won't be... It could be someone we know, but... It won't be someone we saw leave. <laughs> Sounds like you have it all planned out, Varric. And that, Messer, is why I'm here. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Ferelden's. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. You're making me go back to the shop I just went to, aren't you? <laughs> Barry, get out of the way. I love him, though. He's one of my favorite characters. And he is back for... I think he's in Inquisition. Like I said, I didn't really play Inquisition. Um, but I know he's back in the Veil Guard based on the trailer. So. Also, it's a silly name. It used to be called Dragon Age. Oh, I'll, I'll be a little slower in case. I don't think any of you are going to pause this and read this, but you never know. It used to be called Dreadwolf, which is a much cooler name. It's kind of an edgy name, but still. It's a cooler name. But uh, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm trying not to look into the game too much because, as I say, I haven't played. Uh, oh, Maleficarum, the Blood Mages. But because I haven't really played Inquisition, I played a little bit, but I don't really know the story. I feel like there might be spoilers in Veilguard, right? So I don't really want to get involved. 
too early on, but um, from what I've seen, I'm cautiously optimistic. Bioware as a company aren't really Bioware anymore. You know, they haven't been Bioware for a while. We've had things like Mass Effect Andromeda, etc. But um, you never know. You never know. Right, let's go chat to the lass. I'm bad with names. I'm just trying to be diminutive. Oh, what is this? So, oh, what's this one? Oh, that's daytime, nighttime. That's interesting. And then there's the wider world. We can go to the Sundermount. Amp okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Certain places aren't available at night, at least. Hmm. Interesting. Rumor suggests that the Madame of the Blooming Rose has a special service she offers only to the most loyal of customers. So if I go by, like, 50 sessions with sex workers, <laughs> maybe she'll offer something for me? We need a lot of money. We need money for quests and sex workers. She even unlocked that. Oh, because I swapped to Thingy. Okay, well, let's carry on. I think that's nip back. Have you penned some warnings for the lawless? Who's that for? Are most criminals big readers? Seems like pacifying the nobles. Pictures, then. It was just a suggestion. Well, how about a giant sign that just says don't? You could hit people with it. <laughs> Thank you. I get the point. <laughs> a little bit of bants. Main reason that I grow fond of these games is, is the communication between your companions and that's what bioware was always the greatest at it's just writing companions that you want to spend time with and get to know and that you learn to love where is leliana <laughs> actually now that i think about it you again what do you want why are you being so aggressive i was here to help before i hear you know where i can find a ferelden gray warden only ferelden gray warden i've heard of slew the archdemon to save us all fat lot they care here we're out of the blight's path now why would you need a warden? The healer was one of them once, wasn't he? A warden? Well, he's not now, and busy enough without answering fool questions about it. The healer? It could be... Anders, maybe? Then I'll only ask very smart questions. I do not joke, Sirrah. You that. see what our people face in Kirkwall. They have no jobs, no homes. Most can barely buy bread. This healer, he serves them without thought for coin. He's closed their wounds, delivered their children. And yet he needs to hide. He's a good man. I won't lose him to the blighted Templars. You mean he's a mage? Would I stick my neck out for some purveyor of hensbane and leeches? Oh, perish the thought. Another delicate mage flower. He doesn't want to be locked in the gallows just for using the gifts the Maker gave him. I can hardly blame him. I suppose it isn't my secret to keep. Anders has certainly been free enough with his services. Refugees in Darktown know to find the healer, look for the lit lantern. If you have need enough, Anders will be within. I haven't eaten all day. It is Anders. That's cool. Our first returning character. Well, I guess we've already seen Flemeth as well. So this is where he came after the Blight. And after the events of... Well, he wasn't in the original. He was in Awakening. So this is where he came after Awakening. So I guess we must be somewhat removed from the Blight as well. Because Awakening happens post-game. Hey, we heard you in there asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. Alright, but I'm... I'm... I'm a mage. Does this really seem like a good idea? Let's show these folks a little Ferelden justice. Now I'm a mage, you dummies. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I wanted to kill something anyway. I haven't killed anyone today, so I'm not going to complain. Got my physical damage stuff now, which is actually good for me, because I think we can up our... Oh, wait, is that, is that R? Oh, baby, that's what I needed to be doing. Um, I think we can up our physical damage. So it's not necessarily even a bad thing that we've got physical damage stuff. It suits our uh, 
our uh, build a little bit better. So there's a hind man. And there's... Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure we're looting. 50 gold is... No, no. Oh, oh, I've got to I've got to rewire my muscle memory now to just make sure I hit the R key when I loot something. It, it can take a little while. Nothing here. Did you approve my application? I can't make you a guard, Carver. We were both soldiers. Why won't they take me? I was an officer, and I follow orders. No, you don't. I also think of others before myself. You seem tired of that, and that's dangerous. Just when it's not my choice. You told them not to take me, didn't you? Yes. Damn, Aveline. Carver does seem like a bit of a dick at the moment, though, so we'll see where that goes. He hasn't, he hasn't endeared himself to me quite yet. He's just a little bit whiny, you know? He's just a little bit meh. Meh. This is Gamlin's home. I eat our home at the moment, I guess. Hard to believe they left me nothing. Well, mother was pretty steamed when you Check the desks in your house for correspondence. New letters will over. Okay, so we can order potions and runes. That's cool. Writing desk. Bait and switch. Hawk, you might be interested in something that's come up. A contact of mine, a fellow by the name of Anso, is asking around for someone competent regarding a job I suggested you. It's always paid well. If I were you, I'd check into some... some, some blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'd check into it before someone else snaps it up. He said it'd be in the low time bazaar at night. Hawk, your year's up. You're free to go. Despite what you think, we had a good thing working together. Might pass along an opportunity or two if you're willing to get your hands dirty. Sure. Okay. Storage. Put that away for now. The forest must get a lot of stuff here from the DLC. I think this is the same cheese that was here a year ago. People love an aged cheese hawk. I feel itchy just looking at that thing. Gamlin Amel, payment is now two months late, Sarah. Oh, Sarah is not what I thought it was. Interest accrues, as you are well aware. You'll find yourself barred from our establishments unless payment is made. Think, no better, no better. Card shop or numbers runner in Kirkwall will deal with you. He's got a gambling problem. Certainly hope this matter is attended to before steps are taken. Let's avoid further unpleasantness. Oh, uncle. Oh, we've all got our vices. Some find it on the roulette wheel, some find it at the bottom of the wall. Muta? My children have been in servitude, servitude for a year. They should be nobility. If wishes were poppy, we'd all be dreaming. I don't know if he can really say that when it is directly his fault. <laughs> you mean this is real? No wonder I can't wake up. And here I thought that Ferelden you ran off with was a mage, not a jester. Your mother was supposed to marry the Comte de Lance, and instead she ran off with some Ferelden apostate. You don't get to stay the favorite when you do that. Where is Father's will? If I could just see for myself. It's not here, all right? It was red, it went in the vault. No one needed to look at it again. That touched a nerve. What's in there that you don't want us to see? Nothing. But you won't be seeing the bloody thing. It's still locked up on the estate, and that's long out of my hands. What daft bastard leaves that behind? It was old news. You think I've been sitting here for 25 years waiting for Leandra to slink back? Who bought the estate, Gamlin? Perhaps I could speak to them. Was it the Reinhardts? No one you know. Get used to Lowtown, sister. That's where we're going to stay. It might be where you stay, Gamlin. I am going to get us out here. Maker, what a mess. I want to make things better for Mother. But some of what Gamlin says, I'm having a hard time hating him. Playing caretaker for someone else's life. Stuck in their shadow. That's no way to live. And there it is. <laughs> Look, if you want to join the fight over who lost the most, fine. 
but I never lived here. Mother even gave me her old key to try and stir something. But I didn't know Grandfather. Finding his will doesn't matter to me. You want a connection? This is where we'll find it. The once mighty Amels. A bunch of slavers are squatting on that dusty glory. What have you heard? Uncle's a chatty drunk. He was up to his neck and signed everything over. That's who has the estate. Apparently, the most extensive wine cellar in Kirkwall is now a slave highway from the Undercity. That's the family legacy. That sounds like an arrangement that needs to change. And what if it does? We still aren't important enough to actually live in the place. Baby steps, Carver. All right, sister. If the key works, we'll clear the estate from the Undercity up. I don't know if this will help. But I do feel like hitting someone. <laughs> no, it probably helps. The house won't clean itself, Uncle. Okay, so quest updated. You want us to go f to Dark Town and break into the cellars of the old family estate? I'm kind of curious. In that, also this screen is worse than the old one. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I'm kind of. Should we? Should we? Night time. In the. Uh, Oh, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do the Anders bit first. Oh, there's no quest here, though. Alright. Um, what was I going to say? Cool boy things. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> we don't know what the... Who is the antagonist? You know, we, we don't know anything about that quite yet. It could be the Knight Commander person that's been mentioned. The Templar. Always calling and getting rid of idiots. Especially thugs who target the streets just because it's dark. Whereas I think at this point... In in Origins, we kind of had a... I guess we didn't know at the moment about the Archdemon, but we were about to become a Grey Warden by the end of the second episode. Or close to it. We were about to meet Flemeth and then become a Grey Warden. So I guess we weren't that far off from learning about the Archdemon, etc. Anywho, anywho, next video, we will go talk to Anzo about this bait-and-switch mission. And uh, go track down Anders, wherever he could be. I wonder if the game wants me to find Anders myself. It said go to the lit lantern, but th th I mean they're all lit, so <laughs> maybe that's a daytime thing. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.